What's up, you guys? Welcome to Monday. I hope you're doing well. Let's see what's on tap for the collective. We do have a full moon in Taurus later this week to contend with. Uh, starting in this week, I will be posting the November readings. So um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but you've been hanging out, welcome. And if you'd like to, if you like my content, please hit subscribe. That way you'll get notified uh, of any new videos. And also we have now um, a group of readers that have been trained in my school. If you want to learn tarot from me, that's a great thing to do. There's a link below. And also these folks have been certified for Soulful Revolution. There is a link below to get a private reading if you're looking to do that. And every once in a while, MJ is going to pop up on there too. I'm going to pop up on there and offer some readings. And if you're uh, a subscriber, you'll get notified. So that's another good reason to subscribe. Okay, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. All right, water. Healer and home. Um, this is about finding a new home or finding a new way of being in the world. I think some of you, uh, and we have been talking about this for a long time, about healing the heart. That's been a long time project all this year, really. I feel like we've been talking about that for a long time. And there is something about a new home or making home or what does home mean to you? creating something with a person or creating something on your own that is a healed kind of um, sanctuary, okay? Something like that, a healed sanctuary. My apologies to you about not being able to see the cards. Uh, when I'm traveling, I kind of have to just deal with what I have. <laughs> so uh, I'll be home soon and uh, you'll be seeing those readings coming along for November. All right, what is on for the collective? What do you need to know about? What's going on? Two, two. All right. I definitely saw this, so I need to take this. Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords. Some of you are leaving behind a situation, going towards something much more like home, okay? Something that feels more balanced, somewhere you can rest and relax. Uh, I do feel like a lot of you are leaving behind a situation that has been very toxic. Ta-da! Um, I do feel like the collective is having that experience in this full moon in Taurus. Taurus is saying, hey, do you feel safe? And if you don't feel safe, it's time to go, okay? Uh, some of you have uh, even an abusive situation and there is uh, some real need to move out of it, okay? I don't think I can stress that strongly enough if you're in an abusive situation. Um, how to get somewhere safe, how to deal with that situation. I was someone who got out of an abusive situation myself and it's terrifying. And once you've done it, empowering. And there is some sense of um, getting to safety. So there is a person you may want to reach out to that you know who you know will, look at this hair sticking straight out. Uh, a person that you know will be of tremendous service to you. And I feel like that's the purpose of this relationship right now. It's not the only purpose. This could end up moving on to being a romantic relationship or something very closely resembling like best friends for life or something like that. So it could either, it could go in a direction of romantic relationship, but there is a sense of some of a kindred spirit. So wherever you are right now that doesn't feel safe, some of you have transitioned out of that long ago, but even if you have, I think one of the most um, destructive parts of relationships that are toxic is that they leave an indelible uh, mark long after they go. So you could find yourself years later waking up in the middle of the night feeling panic or feeling fear. Um, you could... Um, Evolve, uh, create coping mechanisms that keep people away, that don't allow um, love to come into your life or don't allow other people who are kindred spirits to even, you know, sort of get close. So if you feel like you have been pushing people away or if you feel like, gosh, that happened to me a long time ago. Why am I not? Why am I not really able to um, have a meaningful relationship? Well, it's because this is ugly. Um, it's because the healing hasn't happened. Okay, the healing hasn't really happened. 
And that's what's necessary. Some of you on the flip side, some of you may be that person for someone else that maybe you've had this experience and you've done the healing work for yourself or you're in process with it, but you recognize it. Okay. There's nothing more powerful, I think, in our lives than being seen, being seen by another person, being seen, being validated. Sure, we do this for ourselves and that's super powerful, 100%. But I almost feel like when someone sees you. So when I was in high school, my father had passed away when I was uh, 14 and um, it didn't really kind of hit me because when people pass away, um, there's a lot of attention right away. And so you can kind of move through it feeling supported, right? Because those people are supporting you. But then eventually you get to a place where, you know, they go back to their lives. And that was, it was at that point where I felt, um, like I was not being seen and a teacher really saw me and she was very kind and, you know, gave me, she she knew I loved creative writing and was a writer and she gave me all kinds of, you know, really fun projects. <laughs> and she made me think that I was like testing them out for the class and uh, the, she, I was doing nothing of the kind. She wanted to engage me and engage my creativity. And that's what really brought me out of it. I mean, still to this day, that was, you know, 40 years ago and I still feel that. Luckily I had a chance to tell her that. Um, but there is, if you are going through some kind of similar situation, or if you are feeling not seen right now, there is a person who will see you. There is somebody around you who is going to see you. So Wheel of Fortune, this person is likely destined and fated to be in your life. The hermit energy, definitely like, right? Kind of seeing each other. So I do like that. This is Virgo and this is also Sagittarius. So there could be, I am seeing um, those two energies in this reading. Some of you could be dealing with a Sag or you are a Sag. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. You are a Virgo. Some of you could have that internally, you know, whatever. Some of you are dealing with a guru or a guide or a person who's just flat out seeing you. Okay. Yes. Ace of Pentacles. This is the thing that you can build your life on. You can build your life on what's being healed right now and what's being brought forth from you, okay? Uh, creating a new home or something like that for yourself. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. This is that kind of feeling of like, well, I'll just do it myself. I'll just be internal to myself. And this Two of Pentacles is kind of like, I'm not sure where to turn. I'm not sure where to go. But there's definitely a guidepost here. And I feel like it shows you what you do want in your life. There's This is a very important moment where you are healing that heart, but also planting the seeds for the future about ready to walk through that gate and toward something that you really want to create. So the Eight of Swords... Whoopsie. The eight of wands. Isn't that interesting symmetry there? Two and two, eight and eight. And Sag, outcome. So Sagittarian energy is playing a big role. Now, we all have every sign in our birth chart. Some of us are more powerful Sages than others. You may not have any planets there, but you definitely have Sag in your birth chart. And I'm really going to uh, focus on the energy of Sag and the energy of Virgo. The energy of Sagittarius is optimism. It is the, the unfettered belief that, you know, justice will prevail and good things will happen eventually, like the arc bend towards, bends toward justice. And, you know, it's, it's really about like, okay, I'm kind of talking my way out of being stuck. Now, this does feel to me like if you have somebody who is doing that with you or for you, what they're doing is they're not kind of full frontal with you. They're not really saying, hey, I see you're in a dark place and I'm going to pull you out of it. Sometimes these people aren't even people that you've met physically. OK, this could be somebody on YouTube or somebody who is giving you inspiration, somebody who's lighting that fire of passion for you, somebody who's showing you that there's a new way. That's a really important person. And 
I feel like there has been this sense of kind of locked in a jail cell or feeling like there's no way forward. There's nothing to do. The full moon in Taurus is saying to us, like, what what feels like home to you? What do you want to create? And if you've created something that's like, OK, it's home, like this is where my stuff is and this is where I live and everything. But it doesn't feel like home to me. What does feel like home to you? What are you wanting to create in the world? And the symmetry I was talking about is this two and two, right? The two of swords and the two of pentacles. And right beneath beneath it, I'm doing three, three, and three, right? Right beneath it is the eight of swords and the eight of wands. So both of those things added together are 10 and 10. This is also 10. This is, and every 10, if you studied your numerology, you know that every number goes to a single digit. So one plus zero is one. So it's like back to the beginning. This is back to the beginning, right? It's the end of the uh, major arcana in, in tarot, and it's bringing us back to the beginning. There did have to be an action. We have three eights here. Okay, and I don't see the strength card yet or um, the eight of pentacles, which is about putting in the effort. But I do see the six of pentacles here. So the eights here are saying it does require some action on your part. So if you are um, feeling like you need to walk away from a toxic situation, which this very much is showing me, I do get the sense that you will have friendly helpers along the way, okay? So this hermit energy, please clarify the hermit for me. Like you are somehow transmuting the energy of what you have learned in that toxic relationship and you're not kind of making it, either making it about yourself or making it about um, why you're not, good at something, why you're not worthy of love. You're not doing that. This is about Jupiter and Jupiter is Sagittarius energy, which is expansion and optimism. So please clarify the hermit for me. Three of wands, expectation of getting things getting better. The 10 of wands, again, another 10, putting down this kind of behavior. Star, healing, wish granted. The nine of cups here, healing and wish granted. Oh. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I love tarot, right? So the eight of strength showed up and eight of pentacles is probably not far behind. Eight of pentacles, I'm kind of I'm kind of seeing the knight of pentacles too because it doesn't mean it's not going to take action or it doesn't mean that it's not going to be hard work. I feel like what's going on right now is, and I've said this in the past couple of days, is that the universe is pushing us to do something that's really hard, but that ultimately is our destiny, our fate, our future selves. To become your future self is to totally transform. And while it's not easy, the reason that the universe is pushing us is because for the past, I'm gonna say since 2020, right? 2020, the universe has said, okay, there's this massive upheaval going on on the planet. And if you want to make a change, boy, this is the time. And those of you who didn't do it then or didn't do it in the last three years are now kind of being told like, guess what? The change is happening. You've run out of time to do it on your own time frame. So the universe is saying like, you are strong enough. You are talented enough. You are lovable enough. You are all these things. And it's time to make that transformation. I do like, uh, some of you are stepping into your own healing gifts. Some of you are finding home, right? Some of you maybe who have thought love was never coming in for you are finding that some of, because you've taken a risk. Um, the, the um, full moon in Taurus, the opposite sign is Scorpio, okay? So when full moons happen, it's the sun and the moon are in opposition. And so the sun is in Scorpio, right? Sun's in Scorpio on October 28th, and the moon is in direct opposition to that. So what's happening is it's, to me, I always feel like these two things then can dance, my feelings and how I express myself, right? My deeper inner desires and how I express myself out in the world. And it's in the energy of Taurus. Uh, the moon's in Taurus and Scorpio. And Scorpio, Scorpio Taurus is about risk 
versus security. And for you to have security, there must be some kind of risk, which is what's going on right now. And I, I feel like a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Either you're like, okay, I want to start that business or, okay, I want to really, you know, start moving forward with my healthier lifestyle or something like that, which is exactly why I'm starting the coaching group this week. Um, because this is the time for you to kind of take your foot off the brake and put it on the gas. Okay. Same foot, <laughs> not two feet. <laughs> Don't drive with two feet. Unless you have a stick shift, which many of you do, which I've noticed, um, you've told me. So here's the thing. Um, I'm going to pull cards for each zodiac sign. I see Leo and Aquarius, Virgo and Sagittarius. Um, that's a lot of loud energy here. Uh, I've been talking about Scorpio and, um, and Taurus. So I'm just going to pull cards for each zodiac sign like I've been doing recently, and we'll see where we go. I'm going to get you some guidance for your particular sign. You can watch that for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and then kind of put together a special message for you. Okay? So if you want to continue on with this reading, it is very timely with this full moon in Taurus. Link is below. Pathfinders, we're just going to keep going. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.